so I'm going to start off by setting odd symmetry and um, we're going to do it on the uh, yeah we'll do it on the XZ and the YZ that'll do fine and then I'm going to start with a base plate which I will delete this is going to go about halfway down the ship do, 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 do. In fact, let's make this a side loader. I will start off by making an area in which I will be standing. So I reckon that's probably big enough. And I'll make it a side loader. So what I mean by that is there'll be two ways in and out and uh, they'll be at the sides. So if I start here... Yeah, so one... lights in here okay so now I've got where I'm gonna stand sorted now I can get onto the actual ship because this is just way where you sit so the first thing I'm gonna need is a web uh, salvage computer so let's go with a salvage computer right there oh hang on the ships going forwards no? yeah it's going that way so Let's put the salvage computer there. Why not? Uh, let's just build this out a bit. thinking so where do the salvages go <laughs> so this is this is where we start that so we're going to press C on the salvage computer and then we're going to get our salvage cannons which I only have 10 of so we can sort that out with uh, 24 is it yeah 24 so give ID space your name space 24 for salvage cannons space the number and I think we're going to need more than that. There we go. 10,000, whatever. 100,000 and 10. And knowing that this is the front of the ship, I, I can start making the pattern, which is going to go from here. So, selecting it. The pattern I'm going to follow is one. Let's see. One, two, three. And obviously, these these ones too. Do 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 do. Okay, and obviously we can do this very quickly. That is just the beginning, okay? Now I'm going to come back to you in a second when I've done a bit more. After I uh, just sort of finished this off here, I've put a little divider in, top and bottom, and then I'm going to build this first layer of the salvage array there, up to there, and then we'll see where we go. And so, with the front part, built I can start building the back part and now the back part is going to be the opposite of this part so if I go straight through to the other side I've got a wall and where it crosses instead of putting one here like this I'm going to put them like that and then build 10 back here as well so so on. 
but I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. This is the basic idea. I might open this up so that I've got a place to inspect the front half of the second bank here. But I'm going to fly it from in here. I'm just experimenting with that as well. Uh, and uh, here are the two arrays, which are going to be much larger. And it's going to fire over every block. Every block. So, yeah, time to put the shields in. So, now you can see the basic idea forming here. Uh, I've got shields in between the back salvage array. And then I've got... Sorry, in front of the front, the front salvage array. <laughs> It's kind of hard at the moment to tell front from back. Um, and then at the back, I have a basic power reactor set up. And it's producing nearly a million per second. Mm. Nearly a million energy per second um, from this reactor. Okay, because it doesn't really matter about mass. Um, so, yeah. Still pretty small though, right? So, a million per second from this reactor. And um, now I'm going to continue it back and forward and then put the um, engines on the back. Okay, so this is where we're at. Uh, the reason it's got a funny shape to it is because of the wedges. The wedges are there so that it doesn't get stuck on the edges as it's plowing through. Because what I found was that the uh, if you make it wider, even if it's square, it actually cones in like with the focused fire so it's very you have to do little circles you have to do oh gosh that looks awesome doesn't it right, you have to do little circles when you're firing it because otherwise well I'll show you here we'll go to a uh, clean bit there it goes kind of cool as well inside here <laughs> you uh, can see the beams coming through <laughs> so if you take a ride <laughs> it just looks I think it looks kind of cool but yeah so uh, this is what I've created and um, the idea is you push forward to aim it around and around. This is just a prototype, so I don't know whether this is going to actually work. The idea is that we can progress through here, hopefully. Probably need to stop waving it and go a bit slower. Oh, we can move again. <laughs> I need to get a camera. <laughs> slowly to the left and see see what we get end up with and this is the prototype so you know I mean, this only took me about half an hour to make and uh, I'm just testing the concept really this is my strip miner concept I wanted it to be as compact as possible and I had this idea of being able to see the uh, salvager beams um, <laughs> through there. It's something that uh, the docking beam I saw that Havoc was using in the last video, one of the last videos. He was trying to dock a core with another core and of course it doesn't work. But this is my strip miner idea. Uh, I reckon that you could, uh, by going from side to side and then going forwards, you could chomp through a whole planet in a couple of minutes. That's the idea, anyway. Uh, 
and uh, yeah I can make it look pretty and use different coloured holes if I want but yeah this works it's also interesting that the central part is more solid than the top and the bottom so you can see that the top and the bottom aren't mining as much we're getting an interesting pattern so it's almost like a lathe or a it's interesting so you could sort of you could sculpt with different types of salvager like there's different types of strip miner but yeah this works so for a prototype this is not bad clean up on aisle three right so um, I'm gonna leave that there and um, I'll come back to this another time so yeah that's my uh, I'll stop firing so that's my um, salvage ship from strip mining planets I'm pretty sure that could just dig through there in no time because I've only been going for a few minutes strip miner finished I'll bring you version 2 because like I say this one is a prototype that's why it looks a bit ugly um, and what I have done here is I've put two waffles well you've just watched the whole build through so but two waffles alternating in the middle um, slightly further forward the back end is slightly longer than the front end but uh, that was just a range issue because I've had ships that are so long they um, you know they don't reach the target. That mission is successful. I'd say that this salvage design works okay. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm going to develop it, make it a little bit bigger. And um, yeah, I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching.